This here is the Digi Rule. It's a ruler with built-in logic gates, flip-flops, and a 4-bit counter, and 9 easter egg modes, which I'll show you um, as we go through it. The Digi Rule is a 15 centimeter ruler, marked out in binary down here in centimeters, and also 6 inches up the top there. So it goes from 0 to 6 up this way, and for the uh, metric, it goes from all zeros to all ones over this way. On the back you'll find a handy logic gate truth table chart, flip-flop truth table chart, and also conversion tables here as well, between binary, octal decimal, hexadecimal, and gray code. Um, down here are just uh, some different footprints and some hole sizes and so forth. Now this model that you're seeing at the moment is the old model. Um, I no longer have Brad's Electronic Shops uh, shop, that's all gone, so don't worry about that. Um, and I've also changed the logo down here just slightly. But let's have a look at what the actual ruler does. So if we turn it on, so it's powered up by this CR2032 3 volt battery. We've got different logic gates over here. Not, OR, AND, XOR, NOR, NAND, AND, XNOR. So choose any one of these gates. Let's just say we go for an AND gate. At the moment we've got 0, 0 coming in on the input. So there's a 0 there on the output. 0, 1, we've still got a 0. 1, 0, we've got a 0. And finally, 1, 1, we now get a logic 1. And that lines up with the AND gate truth table right over here. And you can do that for all the other logic gates. So for example, for an exclusive OR gate, 0, 0, we get a 0. 0, 1, we get a 1. 1, 0, we get a 1. And 2, 1s, we get a 0. So essentially an exclusive OR. Anytime you have a difference on the input, you'll get a 1 at the output. And then there's uh, five other gates to go along with that. Over here we've got some flip-flops, and I should point out that the silk screen on this one, this is a factory second, is a bit dodgy. Your silk screen um, for the Tindy orders will be perfectly fine. So, set, reset, JK, toggle, and data. So if we go to the JK flip-flop, put in a logic 1 on the J, a logic 1 on the K. It uses positive edge triggering, so when we push the clock, you can see that every time I push it, I'm putting in a positive edge and the combination of 1, 1 just uh, causes the output to toggle and then you've got all the other different flip-flops there as well. We've got a 4-bit counter here so you can count up in binary with this button or you can count down with this button. So essentially it's just a really nerdy ruler. Uh, I kind of like using them and other people do as well. It's all driven by this microcontroller here. Now I've also put in some easter egg mode so if we turn it off hold down the A button over here for the logic gates, turn it on we're now in the secret easter egg mode. Um, so now we use the counter to select a certain mode of operation. So for example, if I go to mode 3 in binary and then press B, that's my enter button. Now it gives me a whole heap of sparkly LEDs. So maybe if I press the up button, it actually increases the rate that they sparkle and this decreases the rate. Maybe I'll turn these lights off so you can see this just that bit better. There we go. Sparkly LEDs. Let's let's speed that up a bit. All right, let's have a look at another mode. Turn it off. Hold down the A button. Turn it on. And let's go to mode uh, three, four. Uh, let's go to mode six. That's a good one. So mode six, it just shows us these LEDs flashing. But what's happening is if we shake it, it's a persistence of vision display. So that's kind of like a sine wave. If we press the B button. Oh, sorry, the B button down here. Now what's this? This one's really hard to see, but it actually says Digi Rule Rules. Well, if we press it again, I think it's some smiley faces. There we go. Shake it back and forth, we get some smiley faces. Um, and then there's a few other modes in there as well. So you get a little binary game. Uh, what mode number is that? Let's have a look here. Uh, mode 7. No, mode 7 is a dice. So every time we press the B button now, it's going to give us a random number between 1 and 6 in binary, that is. So, I know, everybody could kind of use a binary dice, I'm guessing. Um, anyway, so that's it. That's that's a digi rule. You can download the manual to find out about all the different modes and so forth. And, um, yeah, if you like it, then you can feel free to grab one. Thanks for watching. <laughs>